Hello, brothers and sisters. I'm just Joe, no title. And you need to know that God is so compassionate. He has so much love for the people who have fallen away or the people that have never received Jesus in their heart. And he has so much mercy to forgive you for all that you've done. And so if the Holy Spirit is tugging on your heart to receive Jesus in your heart, bow your heads with me and repeat after me in this prayer of salvation. Dear Heavenly Father, I humbly come before your throne. Please, Father, forgive me for all the sins that I've ever done. Please, Father, help me to renew this mind of mine. Take this carnal mind away from me and fill me with your Holy Spirit. Write my name in the book of life. Seal me for the day of redemption. And your will always be done, Father, not mine. I pray this in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. And so if you said that prayer, that's your starting point. The first step is to have the mind of Jesus. And that is to please God and do his will. We must have the mind of Jesus to receive the Holy Spirit. And get baptized. And once you are baptized, you are a candidate to receive the Holy Spirit. Because a baby Christian does not have the Holy Spirit yet. He has a carnal mind. And a carnal mind cannot serve God. You must have the mind of Christ. So you must seek God with good changes to renew your mind. And when you are ready, God will renew your mind completely. Renew that stony heart into a pure loving heart. And fill you with the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. We must get better to get close to God. And we must read the truth to get better. So get a Bible if you don't have one and read the New Testament. It shows us how to grow in Christ and shows us how to live. Amen? Amen. So brothers and sisters, let us continue carrying the cross given to us by taking Christ as our master, our teacher, our example. Believe his doctrine and obey him. And we will all be with our Lord and Savior someday for eternity. Amen? Amen.